Welcome back to the Chaos Wheel franchise. Oh, that's a way to start this episode. Worst player is now my best player. It looks like our worst player is actually our quarterback, Brett Blushy. Never seen the field so far, but he's about to be a 99 overall. That's extremely convenient for us. Brett Blushy's about to be a legend. The only downside for Brett is he's about to get a lot shorter. As short as we can make him, 5'5", five, five. and as weak as we can make him too, 160. The shortest player in the entire league. Tiny bum. Why, why did it make his butt bigger? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, whatever. So we have a fat kicker and now we're gonna have an extremely short quarterback. Well, because we get to make him a 99, I can choose where I put all these attributes. Well, now Brett is the greatest quarterback who ever lived. By focusing on every other attribute besides awareness first, I was able to get up to a 99 scrambler. He's got perfect throw power accuracy. The only thing that's a little down is play action. But we roll until we get a challenge. Oh, trade for the number one pick. These are kind of fun ones in this one. Right now, it looks like the Texans are projected to have the number one overall pick. So let's see what it takes to get them. Two first round picks, outside linebacker, and a wide receiver for this year's first. I did that because I'd rather lose draft picks than my current players. And these guys weren't contributing too much right now anyway. So we got our pick. Definitely overpaid maybe, but that's all right. I have to do what the wheel says. Random player, 99 strength. All right, wheel, tell me who's going to be 99 strength. It's going to be somebody on the defense. Cool. Looks like it's going to be a defensive lineman who actually is going to get the benefit the most out of the 99 strength. And it's going to be somebody on the interior. All right, we've spun the wheel many a times. I think it's time to actually put this in there. I'm going to give Rod Sackington the 99 strength. I think he's the best player to give it to on the defensive line since he has good power moves and finesse moves already to take advantage of that strength. This is probably one of the most active episodes the wheel has ever been. Oh no, you're kidding. QB sneak only. This is impossible. We know what our game plan is going to be running it inside. We're only doing QB sneak, so we have no other option. And Jordan Walker is the spotlight player, but he's not going to be after this game because he's not going to be getting the football. Get out there and you run the same play the entire game. Go, Brett. Yeah, never seen the NFL field before, but he's ready. Always going to run to Zach Martin's side because he's the best blocker we got. And. <laughs> No, wait, does the animation always make him fall down? Is that all we're going to get? That's going to be unfortunate. So no big plays. Are we always only going to be getting two yard runs or less? Yep, he just always falls forward. We're never going to get a first down here. This is not good. This legitimately might be an impossible challenge because I can't control him otherwise. It's going to be this the entire time. Crap. So a lot of people have been complaining that I keep punting the football in these challenges. So I think you guys are right. In which case, it's going to make it even more difficult because we can't punt the football. We can't really get first downs. We are screwed. <laughs> They're going to be getting the ball on our side of the field most of the day. <laughs> yeah, Brett Blue, she's going to have a rough one. Our only hope is if the defense just like gets a bunch of turnovers or something. Oh, and we're getting stops. You know what I actually want to do? We cheesed it last time by running special teams mainly the whole game. Let's try it here on third down. Who says no? Lonnie Bacon gets in position. Doesn't matter if they move it around. Matt Canada has no good offense. He's throwing it to the outside and they miss him. Let's go. The straight rush worked again. That'll put him in field goal formation. And they get three points. I feel like that's going to be happening a lot today. It kind of bugs me that we're stuck in the animation where he falls forward, right? Like, if I want to fall forward, give me a button opportunity, but don't make it so it happens every time. Riveting gameplay, but this is all I can do. This is what the wheel decided on. I do find it hilarious how we just got an overpowered quarterback, and now we can't use him because we're stuck in quarterback sneak. What the heck? I got stuck in the animation again. This game is so glitched. And they score right away. 10 to zip. Oh, no, we fumbled the ball. Oh, my God. They're just going to keep pouring it on. Oh, they score again. After running the QB sneak just a few times, I quickly realized this challenge was nearly impossible. So you're kind of locked in for like two yards max every time, besides this one time where we like ran into a player and it nudged us forward for like three or four. But we never got a first down with the QB sneak, and thus we were never able to move the ball downfield, so the Pittsburgh Steelers were in the red zone the entire game. So they kept scoring and scoring. One time we did get an interception in the end zone. I tried to return it, but didn't get far. But right after that pick, I ended up falling 
fumbling the ball near the goal line anyway. Heck, I was even getting some good returns. Like I got this big return with Lonnie Bacon up the left side, but ended up not getting a touchdown. The fans were booing me and I even fumbled this kickoff. So it was all around a bad day. That was the toughest challenge by far. I do think it's nearly impossible. You'd have to have some lucky breaks with a ton of turnovers for that to even slightly work. Final score was 44 to zip. That'll drop our record down to three and four. We're actually number two in our division. So this season is not completely lost. So I wonder what the wheel is gonna give me for the second game of the episode. Oh, no way. We get to sign a channel legend. I guess we'll see which series I'm going to be pulling from here. And it's gonna be from UGF, my personal favorite. I like that. All right, we'll see which position it's gonna give me in this one. It's going to be a linebacker. Okay, there's actually quite a few linebackers that were very good for UGF. Now we get a much older version of him, but that's Eric Tyson. Basically the ratings we got from his college days straight from the video. Cool to see him at the next level here. That's fun for me to sign a channel legend. Oh no, but we get max injuries on top of that. Injury bar all the way to the top. I don't think injuries is really a challenge here. Oh, but kicker at quarterback certainly is. You're kidding me. We max out our quarterback and we're not even gonna be able to use him. This game loves to troll. One ball's gotta be starting for us. I hope he stays healthy throughout this game with max injuries. Oh my gosh, there's already an injury. We just had the kickoff. Lonnie Bacon is sitting on the bench shaking his head. All right, Juan Ball, let's see what you got. Remember, we made him thick the other day, and he has 99 speed. Pretty good acceleration and stuff, especially for a kicker. But what is his throwing ability? Oh no, 35 throw power, and the accuracy is horrid. Just get rid of it. Oh, he completes his first pass, and it's gonna be a first down, but we already have another injury. This is gonna be a long day with max injuries. Well, we have a team that actually survives this game is the real challenge. Yeah, Juan Ball's calling audibles. <laughs> Shouldn't have had that popcorn. Lonnie Bacon, re-injury risk is high. Let's let somebody else get out there. I can't lose Lonnie. Not for the whole season, at least. And down goes Juan, torn labrum. Yep, he's out for the game. Oh, he threw again, fumble. Yikes, that might happen a lot today. Can we tackle this man, please? <laughs> it's like every other play, we got the injury notification up. I like how it's only my players getting injured. Thankfully, we got Eric Tyson though. Maybe he'll hurt the other guys. Oh, they fooled me. In the end zone, we're getting a pick. Breaking tackles. Up to the one, now they got an injury, okay. I thought it was one-sided for a second. So I don't have to throw the ball every time, but I will make it so I have to throw at least once per drive. How about that? Oh, nice moves. Flash. Another injury, the same guy, oh God. That might be a season ending one. Yep, he's slamming down the helmet. Not a good sign. Wait, he fumbled, what? We just handed it off, why is there already a fumble? Another injury. It's like my guys are getting shot out here. What are we doing? I almost want to just put in all the backups just so my stars don't get hurt. Can he put it on the money? Oh, not terrible. Bjorn Stiffwater is hurt. We can't go a play without somebody getting hurt. CD Lamb is hurt though, but he's celebrating. That never makes any sense. <laughs> oh gosh, that might be his leg. Is that an Achilles? Dax running. Lonnie slams him down. Tony Pollard is hurt. We're taking out all of their stars. He's throwing it short. We stop him short of the goal line and we injure him. Will they have any players left? Right over the middle. You made it too easy for him. You got to get in front of him. Jalen Cropper. We're good to see Lonnie Bacon back out there. Because we got the blocks for him. And he's got the sidelines. Even coaches chanting him on on there. He's going to go. Just put a band-aid on it and you're back out there. Way to go, buddy. Juan Ball, also our quarterback, will be kicking the extra point. Boom. Bjorn is down. And we got to stop. Greg Holt, he's out for the game. So that's like our second guy completely gone. Everybody else is managing injuries. It's a war zone out here. People are pulling hammies, getting cramps. Now Lonnie Bacon's hurt again. He, at least he got us a touchdown before he died again. He's furious. He's like, coach, put me out there again. I told him I had a boo-boo. See if we can get Juan going. Throw him open. Nope, he throws a pick. He doesn't really have the arm strength. It just floats over there in slow motion. Oh, what a tackle from Rod Sackington. That strength is definitely coming into handy. Bruised his shoulder. Get him back out there. 
Screen pass and it's bugged. Yes. Send Eric Tyson back there to return. Why not? I doubt it's going to be long enough. Fight. Oh, they're faking it. And they don't get it. What are they doing? Bumble. Oh my. He's going crazy. Flash. He's going to go the distance off of a fumble. I, is that because Juan's awareness is just extremely low? I don't know, but they're messing up the handoffs big time. Flash was able to turn it into a touchdown. That's incredible. <laughs> we get the replay of just Juan and then Flash down the sidelines. That was pretty cool. First and goal. I'm looking for an interception. And I'm not there giving him a hit stick, but <laughs> just hitting right back into my own players. Returning this game in a blitz the league with all these injuries. Oh. Easy one for the fullback. Using my own play against me. I don't like that. Gets rid of it quickly. That's a completion. Ah, oh, our best offensive lineman, Zach Martin, is down. Grabbing his wrist. The ice packs are going to be going around on the sidelines. Can he lead him with it? Oh, it's on the money. The best throw Juan has had all day. Dislocated shoulder, so we'll not be seeing Zach Martin again. He fumbles it every time we do a handoff. It actually might be easier to do a pass play. His awareness is just so low. That is funny that they added that. I kind of like it, but it's it's getting like borderline ridiculous with how many times it is happening. Oh, what an incredible hit. Another dislocated shoulder. We're losing all of our offensive linemen here. No way he completes that. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. We've injured so many receivers. They got bums out there. They get the field goal. This one is like hilariously close. So many random things happening. All right, let's see if we can do a normal handoff again. I'm a little scared to be totally honest with you. See, it's a fumble every time. Oh my goodness. All right, so we can't do running plays. The challenge just will not allow it. Oh, CD Lamb's back and he's cooking us. Juan, you gotta be a hero. It's the only way. I'm gonna roll out this side. Go Juan. That guy is just too fast. Damn it. Throw it to the open space. It's picked off again. Just too weak. Oh, no. It's going to be pick six. Yep. They're starting to pour it on now. This challenge has become insanely difficult. Look at that thing just up in the air for so long. So easy for the defender to break on it. So we've established running the ball, not an option. Throwing it deep, that's too risky. He's going to get picked off. So our best option is quick passes and just praying. Maybe a scramble here or there. Rolling out. Oh, what the? He just lobbed it over. We caught it, and it's a first down. There were so many things going on that play. I just got bamboozled, but it turned into a first down. Juan, you're crazy. Ugh, rolling this way. They're all over me. But Juan's quick enough to get there. <laughs> He's in pain. He said, please, no more. You got to step up and be a hero here, Juan. Give me the big play. If only we had Jordan Walker, right? He can't even throw it away. Our offensive line's too depleted. Poor kid. Oh, that guy is not even covered. This is embarrassing. Touchdown. Oh, did he do it again? Lonnie Bacon. Get out of the way, ref. Lonnie's turning on the Jets. It's going to be his second kickoff return this game. He's better than our entire offense. Legend. He's legit like our only hope out here. He's not happy about it, though. You know what? Let's mess around. Try an onside kick. I don't exactly know how to do this. Let's try a low kick, maybe. Go about right there and uh, do that. Straight into his hands. Great. Oh, Lonnie Bacon with a pick! He is just the hero of this game. Two kickoff returns and now an interception. I need the offense to give me literally anything. Heck, maybe we can try a screen pass or a quick pass to Texas Kyle. Oh, yes. A quick turnaround that can work. Oh, Texas Kyle is going to adjust to that ball. Good. We're in field goal range now. I know it's risky, but I got to try a screen pass here. He actually gets it away. We got blocks. He breaks a tackle. Flash Williams. Oh, my goodness. We're going to try that again. Lead him with it. Okay, he's going to get tackled. Hey, not bad. Knock it through. Oh, gosh. Did I miss this? I think I missed it. All that work for nothing. Oh my goodness. You can't make this up. <laughs> Coach is like, God damn it. I'm gonna continue with the onsides. Oh, he kicked it. He got it back though. He's still on his feet. No way. Don't allow that to happen. Don't let him return. Oh, Goodell. Mate. Touchdown. Damn. 
Lead them with it. The safety's breaking over. Oh, come on, Texas. It was in your hands. Dislocated elbow. Everybody's getting hurt. Oh, what a catch. One ball made a completion under pressure. Legend. I'm using flanker drive, the play we used for that one episode. Oh, nice catch. I'm going to try to nail this 57-yarder with one ball. Oh, and he got it? I don't know. I think he did. Yes, just barely. We didn't get the signal from the ref, so I couldn't really tell. Now we're only down by three touchdowns. Woo. Oh, he missed it. Fall on the damn ball, boys. Let's go. We got it. We got an onside kick. That rarely ever happens. Oh, bomb it to Texas. Throw it as high as you can. And that's going to be picked. Damn it. We stopped them. We get the ball back. Ah, run, one, run. He's got good blocks. He's splitting the defenders. One, run. He didn't fumble it either. That was insane. Maybe the best quarterback run we've had all year, and it's from our kicker. Oh, no. Texas drops it. He would have had a touchdown. How about this time? He catches a touchdown! First one for one ball! Let's go! Come back, question mark. We're going onside the rest of the way. Oh, popped up right in his hands, but we gave him a hit stick. Oh, I just completely missed him. Oh, gosh. He could score. Yep. One play touchdown. Well, if they're going to do it, at least don't waste my time. Oh, that's way off the mark. Good try, though. That's way off the mark again, dang it. I mean, for a kicker, we've done better than we thought we would have. They add on another field goal. It's a run opportunity for Juan. Look at that space. Cut in, buddy. Oh, don't lose a kneecap. Well, that one was definitely difficult. I had a lot of fun with it, though, but at least it wasn't impossible like our first challenge. 170 passing yards, a touchdown, three picks. Not terrible for a kicker at quarterback. He also added on 76 rushing yards with a long of 57. Got a lot of injuries to the injury report now. Dislocated elbows, ankles, torn labrums. I don't even know what a labrum is. Let's see what the third challenge of the video will be. Oh, no. No starters. They're never going to let me use this quarterback that's 99 overall, will they? That's not really a challenge, though, so we're going to continue on. One random 99 speed? You know I love that speed. Who's it going to be? Oh, a defensive back. That's actually the most value position to have it at, I believe. Well, that works out. I'm going to give our best corner, Goodell Slayer, 99 speed, but he's not going to be able to use it this game because he's on the bench. Four downs for possession total. So we actually have so many injuries, Eric Tyson actually has to play, so I kind of luck out there. But this is still going to be incredibly difficult because we only get four plays per possession. In which case, we need the defense to be killer. Yes, we got to stop. Way to go, defense. Oh, gosh, we only get four plays and we start at the 13-yard line. Thankfully, we're deep enough at quarterback to where Norwal is no longer our starter. So he gets to lead us today with, but Ishikawa's playing receiver. You see him right there in the huddle. Now, we're going to need some big chunks of yardage, but we don't have any stars to target necessarily. So that's not cool, but we'll make it work because we see Yuto. Maybe. Nope. Got hit. Dang it. That's one play down. Just hucking it as far as I can throw it. Hugh Jane is not catching that. That's two plays. Two plays left to go. 87 yards. Sounds like Hail Mary time. Oh, I got hit. And that works out. And we got one play left from the 39. So here's how I'm going to play this. If I get to my fourth play, I can either choose to punt it or just try and do a normal play. If I don't score on that play, then I'll just kneel the ball the rest of the downs. So they get the ball right where I stop. So I'm actually choosing to punt it right here instead of going for it since we're on our own 34. And Juan's actually punting for us today. And he <laughs> does not have the leg or the ability to go from kicker to punter that easily. So it ended up being actually a pretty terrible punt. But we flipped the field to their side instead of giving it to them on our half of the field. Oh, tripped on my own guy. Oh, give me that one, Eric Tyson, the channel legend. Can he make a miss? Nope. But a big time play. Remember, he has to play because we have so many injuries that we lucked out for him even being on the field at all. Man's an absolute beast, though. I love to have him on my team. All right, give me time. Oh, he's already in my face. That's going to set us back. One on one, Ishikawa. He's got it. Touchdown. 
No way! What ball placement! Behind the corner's shoulder where he couldn't see it. Ishikawa breaking underneath. The quarterback making a hell of a play at receiver. And he's able to take it in too. That's great. Yep. Norwal loves that. Now let's see if the punter is able to do the kicking. Is that enough accuracy? Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's not able to convert to the other side either. So actually kicking is going to be a problem. Looks like we're going to go for two. Oh, he's wide open. Crap. Oh, beautiful pass. That's a great start to the drive. So that's one play down. Can he lead him with it again? It looks a bit too long. Damn, we had a chance there. All right, final play of the drive. I'm full sending it, people. I don't know who I'm going to, but give me time. I got hit as I threw it. Balls. So they get the ball right here. Instead of me punting it, I just give it right to him. Oh, big time sack though from Zed. He's launching that thing. He's got Jaden Reed deep and he's gonna score. This series is so challenging. Oh, but we got Flash Williams in this play. Oh, he actually went for it. Oh, that one's off the mark too. Third play, we gotta go so far. I got hit, can't even get it away. Time to punt this. Gotta give me a better punt. That's a terrible one, but we might get a lucky roll. All right, we downed him at the 45. Not the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, he breaks another tackle. I'm so sad. Oh, no, you're kidding. It's going to be a safety. That's abysmal. Safety to end the half. I got Flash. Down the field. He's a backup receiver, and he's going to score. If I can't use him at running back, I'll use him somewhere else. Using that speed. Absolute dime to him. And we got to throw it. Why are we in slow motion here? What the heck? The game froze on me. Time to go for some onsides. Oh, it hit the guy in the face. We're gonna get it back. Let's go. What luck. Get out there, Flash. Do it to him again. Throwing a missile. Bat it away. I thought we were gonna get that one. I see him over the middle. Stop right there, Darren. All right, we got one play left. It would be ideal to kick the field goal in this position, but we have to hurl it. That's unfortunate. Delay game doesn't hurt us that bad. I mean, we got to huck it deep no matter what. No, I can't get it away. I had a guy open and we have to give them the football. Very unfortunate. I thought we were going to get points there. I tack on a field goal, but at least we held them to that. Game not completely out of reach, but we need some miracles. Dime. I'll take it. Well, that's only one play, though. We got to get way down there. Ugh, I was trying to pick away at it, but they were all over it. Oh, got hit as I threw it. We got only one more chance. Can we get a 70-yard play? We're going for it. 70 yards. That's horribly off the mark, it feels like. Oh, he actually had a spot to get it, though. Hey, we got to stop, though. This game's not over yet. Oh, he missed them again. That could have been a big one. Oh, Ishikawa. Bat it away. No. We keep getting the ball so deep in our territory that we have to just launch absolute bombs. Oh, we got a pick. Go, Zed. Go, Lucian. That's actually great field position for us, all things considered. All right, let's just get some yardage. Get our quarterback some positive energy. Flash breaks a tackle. All right, one play gets us up to the 46. Step up. Run, Peabody. Come, I'm stuck in an animation where I can't get out of the sack. Like, I'm holding down the sprint button and he's just standing there. This game. Oh, off the tip. Our last chance. Oh, we're not going to make it. We have to give them the ball here on the 32. Only having four downs is extremely difficult. Very limited in my play calling. No way he throws that. Oh, Lonnie's able to bat it away. I, he had his back turn. In some ways, that might be better than the pick because we might have a chance at a return here. You know, it's not pretty, but it's still technically possible if we get a touchdown in an onside here. Vines? Nope, I just don't have that return ability without Lonnie. That's some big yardage. All right, we got one play left from this distance. And once again, can't get it away. 
We fall short yet again. That challenge proved to be too difficult. So that's three losses in a row for us. Three losses in this episode alone. Everything's messed up. Well, that's pretty much all I got for this video. If you have a suggestion for the chaos wheel, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're a legend in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, Big Old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Casey Knox, Ed Dunning, Rosalie Jarecki, and Jeff Coleman.